Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie Butter, released in the year 2011. Laura and Bob Pickler are a middle-aged couple living in Johnston County, Iowa. Bob Pickler is a butter carver who has been the best in the business for the past 15 years. His craft is respected and admired by all in the county. At the beginning of the movie, the Pickler couple is at an event organized specifically for Bob to honor his excellent career in butter carving. Throughout the years, Laura has been by her husband's side cheering him on, mostly because it gave her publicity. She calls themselves a royal couple of butter carving. At the event, the story of Bob's struggle and the origin of his passion for butter crafting is told. His most recent sculpture, the life-sized replica of The Last Supper, is the centerpiece of the show that everyone loves. Laura wants to take their influence to the next level, from butter carving business to politics, but her wish is yet to be fulfilled. She takes the business more seriously than Bob and believes that they are invincible. Somewhere else in the county, a 10-year-old African-American foster child, Destiny, sees the Picklers on TV and wishes to be fostered by them. Her entire life, she has been in foster care, moving from one foster parent to another. She has lived with extremist Christians and drug addicts. One time, she was even adopted by an old couple who died when she was in the house. One day, she is taken to the Johnston County Carnival, where she sees Bob's life-sized butter sculpture of The Last Supper. Destiny is so fascinated by the sculpture that she walks into the cooler and skillfully finishes a holy grail cup that Bob had been working on. Bob sees her doing her thing and is impressed by her skills. He puts the cup on the sculpted table and praises the little girl. Later that week, a couple named Jill and Ethan Emmett bring Destiny home to foster her. They are excited to have added a new member to the family, but Destiny isn't so stoked. She has moved into several houses and believes that her stay with the Emmets will be a short one. The couple brings her to her new bedroom that they have personalized by painting it pink. They also ask her if she needs anything and assure her that she is safe to talk about anything with them. In the meantime, because of his dominance, Bob is requested to abstain from future butter sculpting competitions to give others a chance. Bob politely agrees to retire from participating and is happy to be on the judging panel. However, the state head judge Orville is worried about Laura because of how seriously she takes the competition. He is almost scared she will attack him for asking Bob to retire. At home, when she is informed of the matter, she knocks down a vase. She even threatens to call the governor to kick Orville out of the position for proposing such an absurd idea. For Laura, their butter sculpting business is her only pride and joy in life. It is the only thing keeping her relevant in society, so she doesn't want to give up on it, ever. She belittles her husband for not standing up for himself and claims it would have been better if she had married Boyd Bolton, her high school sweetheart and a car dealership owner. Bob, who is used to being insulted by her, is still hurt. He storms out of the house and drives away as Laura yells at him. Amidst all this, Bob's daughter from his first marriage, Caitlin Pickler, stays outside listening to music. She is used to her parents fighting, so it doesn't bother her as much. Following that, Laura drives to Orville's house to talk about Bob's retirement. The old man hides in his bedroom, scared of her. At last, his wife has to send Laura away. In the meantime, Bob goes to a strip club and locks eyes with a stripper named Brooke. She seductively gives him a lap dance and offers to take things further if he gives her enough money. The pair have sexual intercourse in his car, but are caught by Laura, who is driving back to his house. She crashes her car into Bob's car, disrupting his meeting with Brooke. After returning home, she asks him to sleep on the couch for the night, but Bob has been doing that for years now. Both husband and wife are miserable in their relationship, but Laura has to stay with him to stay relevant in society. She blabbers about how they have to prepare for the next competition. When Bob says for the hundredth time that he is not competing, she claims that she will be competing this year. She believes that no other than a pickler can win the butter sculpting competition, and if Bob cannot do it, then she will. The following day, Destiny goes to her new school, which has all white teachers and students. She narrates that everyone is very nice to her, although they stare at her a lot. When she returns home, she tells Ethan that she needs something. Ethan is ready to get her anything and believes that she will ask for dolls or stationery. However, he is surprised when she asks for 200 pounds of butter. After looking at Bob's butter sculpture, she is interested in sculpting on her own. 
Somewhere else, the Picklers are getting ready for dinner. Laura announces to Caitlin that she will be competing in place of Bob this year. Caitlin just laughs at the thought, claiming that Laura doesn't know anything about sculpting. Right then, someone rings the doorbell. When Bob checks the door, he is surprised to see Brooke outside. She has come to ask for the $600 that he owes her for the sexual favor. He manages to send her away, but Brooke is persistent about getting her money back. Back at Emmett's home, Destiny carves little figures from butter. Jill praises her talent and encourages her to continue. The following day, Laura goes to the county civic center to get her name down for the competition. The presenter, Nancy, is shocked at her interest, but she writes her name down anyway. Following that, Laura's old friend, Carol Ann, also registers herself for the competition. At Destiny's request, Ethan brings her down to do the same. Since there is no age restriction in the competition, she gets to participate in it as well. Then, to everyone's surprise, Brooke also arrives there claiming to be interested in butter sculpting. When Laura insults her clothes and her profession, she angrily writes her name down and promises to destroy her. Following that, both Destiny and Laura start preparing for the upcoming competition. Laura makes considerable progress, mainly because she has been watching Bob do it for so many years. But Destiny is also as good as her. On the day of the competition, a crowd gathers to watch the contestants build the sculptures. Destiny builds a beautiful statue of Harriet Tubman on a train, while Laura builds a family of three dining together. Carol Ann, on the other hand, makes a poorly built sculpture of cats in a basket. Brooke arrives only at the last minute and simply makes a smiley face on the block of butter. Before judgment, all of them have to say something about their art. Destiny gives a heartfelt speech about being a black orphan. She and Laura are the top two, and at last, the result is announced in her favor. Laura is left devastated. She doesn't want to lose the competition yet, so she thinks of a plan to make things work. The very next day, she goes to meet her high school sweetheart, Boyd Bolton. She offers to give him sexual favors in turn for a little help. Meanwhile, Brooke comes to the Pickler's residence yet again to ask for money. This time, Caitlin lets her in. Fascinated by her looks and personality, she asks her to play truth or dare. Things escalate quickly, and the two end up having sexual intercourse. Brooke still asks her for the money that Bob owes her, and Caitlin agrees to return it. The following day, Ethan is asked to bring Destiny to a butter company's headquarters to discuss a problem. When everyone is there, Boyd claims that he was paid by Ethan to help Destiny make the sculpture that made her win. Even though they made the sculpture in front of everyone and the accusation has no basis, Destiny agrees to a rematch between her and Laura. After the meeting, Laura is satisfied to have gotten what she wanted. Even Boyd comments that falsely accusing a kid is a bit too much, but Laura doesn't care about him now that she has used him. Somewhere else, Caitlin has started to fall in love with Brooke. They spend time together in a park. Caitlin gives her double the money that her father owed her. Following that, Brooke picks up Destiny from her school and brings her to the mall to buy her tools for buttercrafting. She wants to see Laura lose at any cost, so she motivates the little girl to do her best. When Destiny returns home that day, a woman from the orphanage has come to visit her. They have finally found out about her biological parents. She is handed a picture of her late mother holding her when she was just a baby. At night, the little girl prays to God, saying that she forgives her mother for putting her in the orphanage. The next day is the Iowa State Fair and the day of the grand competition. A huge crowd has gathered to watch both Destiny and Laura perform. After hours worth of work, both of them create beautiful pieces and leave the crowd in awe. Destiny has made a sculpture of her and her mother as she had seen in the picture, while Laura has depicted JFK's assassination. The results are said to be announced the next day. After the program, everyone leaves, but Laura stays for a little bit longer. When the hall is empty, Boyd arrives there and melts the face of the baby in Destiny's sculpture. He does this to get Laura's attention again. The next morning, Destiny, along with the Emmett family, arrive at the hall and are surprised to see her sculpture is ruined. Ethan tries to argue with the jury, but they claim that they have already started deliberation, so it cannot be changed. An enraged Ethan makes fun of the competition, saying that butter should be put on toast. He has to be restrained by security at last. A while later, Laura and Destiny bump into each other in the restroom. Destiny wishes her luck, but Laura is too proud to shake her hand. 
Moments later, she says that since Destiny is only a child, she still can do a lot of things in her life, but this is her only chance at relevancy. Hearing her open up about her feelings, Destiny feels bad for Laura. It is finally the time to announce the winner. Orville comes to the stage and claims that most people who have participated in the competition over the years create outstanding structures, but only some of them can create true art. They declare that the melting face of the baby in Destiny's sculpture is a representation of postnatal abandonment. Because of the deep meaning in her art, they declare her the winner yet again. The crowd erupts in a loud cheer for her. She walks up to Laura and tells her that she can do much more than a butter sculpting competition. The two hug each other, forgetting their rivalry. Some time later, Destiny is officially adopted by Jill and Ethan. Laura, on the other hand, is running for governor, as ambitious as ever. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care!